What's up my kinky girls and welcome back. It's Tanel of Kinky to the Core. If you are new to the Kinky to the Core team, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. If this is your first time visiting my channel, go ahead and subscribe so you can be part of the Kinky Girl team and you won't miss anything. On today, we're going to talk about my favorite 2015 beauty products. So most of the products that I'm going to be showing you are, could either be purchased on in the drugstores or your local beauty supply store, things of that nature. So I'm going to make this video quick as possible. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. And the first thing we're going to talk about is skincare products. Now the first thing I'm going to show you, I've been rocked with them since day one. My mom... Uh, bought me these products when I was in high school and ever since then I've been rocking with them and what I'm talking about is Ambi Ambi skincare I use their even and clear foam and cleaner I use this on a daily basis to uh, clean my face either at night or in the morning and then I also use the Ambi skin and clear exfoliating wash now, I will use this maybe two to three times a week, especially if I have worn heavy makeup throughout that day and I really want to get a, a, a clean face, this is what I go to. Now, after I wash my face or exfoliate my face, I normally time um, use an astringent or a toner. As a toner, I use witch hazel. So, this is what my... Um, go to toner is is witch hazel and for a moisturizer for my face my favorite would be uh grapeseed oil another natural product time use this at night um it's not heavy it's very lightweight it's for sensitive skin which is amazing because i do have sensitive skin not so much my face but the rest of my body so this is so light that it doesn't par uh, clog your pores it doesn't give you breakout like most oils will okay now the last thing for as far as skincare equate brand makeup remover cleansing towelette it's uh, compared to the Neutrogena brand, which um, I was going to get Neutrogena, but I found a dupe because, you know, like I said, I'm all about saving my coins. So I was going to get the Neutrogena, but when I seen the price point of this, which is like 4 or $5, and Neutrogena brand is like 8 or $9, I decided to get this. Let me tell you guys. One towel, you hear me? One towelette is all you need to get rid of all your makeup off. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Snap, but I snapped about this. Um, and I showed you guys on Snap how I use one towelette to remove all my makeup. I absolutely love this. Okay, now moving on to uh, foundations. So my top foundations will be the L'Oreal True Match Color in C8 Cocoa. It goes on smooth. It, it matches my skin perfectly. Um, it, it really doesn't, I really don't have to add to it or mix another foundation with this. It's, uh, it's super blendable. It blends out um, seamlessly like and my number two foundation which is really not a foundation but this um i use when i do like a five or ten minute face i'm rushing but i want to put some color in my face i want to um, smooth out the uneven parts of my face and that's this maybelline dream fresh bb cream it's very lightweight it um it blurs out the imperfection without being heavy um, it enhances, it brightens my skin, so it just really just brighten up my skin tone without being heavy as a regular foundation. So once again, this is um, Maybelline's uh, Dream Fresh BB Cream and Deep Sheer Tint. Let me show you guys, uh, or tell you guys what my favorite primer is. And that will be Maybelline's uh, Master Prime. But when I start using this the correct way like my foundation didn't crack right here on my laugh lines um underneath my eyes it wasn't cracking um 
with the concealer underneath there. So most of the time I put this underneath my heavily underneath my T area and uh, my lash line area because that's what the problem the problem areas are. It gives it gives my foundation a matte finish or a matte undertone underneath. Love this. Moving on to um, eye eyebrows and eyes. Okay, so my favorite eyebrow pencil or filler would be the NYX or NYX um, eyebrow pencil. And it's in deep brown, I want to say it is. Dark brown is the name. It's a retractable pencil. A little goes a long way. It has a, a brush or a spoolie at the end of it. As far as eyeshadow is concerned, I have two palettes that I'm in love with. The very first palette I purchased at TJ Maxx is this brand right here. And this is Berry. It's by Profusion. The palette is called Berry. It's very pigmented. And this was $4.99 at TJ Maxx. So you can find great makeup at, you know, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington, Ross. You don't have to go to the department stores. And my number two eyeshadow palette is from my very own YouTuber, Missy Lynn. Now, if you don't follow Missy Lynn, go ahead and follow Missy Lynn. Her tutorials are Stupid, simple. She gives great instructions. I absolutely love Miss Lynn. She's like my number one uh, makeup tutorial YouTuber, <laughs> I should say. So, Miss Lynn collaborated with BH Cosmetics. Um, BH Cosmetics is an online cosmetic. So, Miss Lynn, she did her damn thing once again with this. With this palette right here. It's very super pigmented. It goes with all skin tones. She picked out great colors. They're warm. Some are dark. Um, neutral colors that can be worn on a daily basis or you can enhance them for an evening look. This palette is so nice. Now we're going to go on to mascara. Let's stay on the eyes. So, my favorite mascara, and it has always been, but I revisited this year. I don't wear falsy. I believe that my eyelashes are long enough. So, when I use Maybelline's Great Lash, so all of those little um, ridges on the brush grabs your lashes and just builds and builds and builds on this. I will all this will always be part of my makeup collection is the Maybelline's uh, Great Lash brand. I forgot to mention um I have I was watching Ricky Daniels, I believe her name is. Um she's here on YouTube and you can find her on Instagram as well. But Ricky was doing an eyebrow tutorial and one of the things that she used, it was actually a Maybelline's brand and it was clear mascara and she was using it to set her eyebrows. So I went out and I was going to buy the Maybelline. I ended up finding the e.l.f. version. And it's a two-in-one. One end is for your eyelashes and the other end right here is for your eyebrows. I can't talk today, you guys. Um, so, I use this to set my eyebrows so they stay in place just like my eyelashes. They're long. My eyebrows are long and they, go, they grow straight up. So, I use this to set them so my eyebrows will not move. Moving on with the eyes. And I know I'm not the only one. So, you guys tell me. Things, and I'm still having a hard time doing and applying, is um, putting on a wing liner. Put it on with the cream, but I decided to jump the gun and try this. Oh my God, you guys. This little pot right here is so creamy. It's so dark. I have it on right now. I'm able to control the product 
if I make a mistake, I can go back in and just smudge it along my, um, my lash line without looking crazy. Because I don't know about you, me, I'm raising my hand. I have put on my full face, my eyeshadow was popping, it's blending well. Then I go to put on a wing liner and I just mess it up with a liquid one. It's just heavy in certain spots. This is my go-to um, eyeliner. And it's Elf Cream Liner in Black. Okay, moving on to um, powders and setting powders. I'm going to put it in one category. You guys, when I got this Black Opals setting power, I got all my life together. You hear me? Shalonda One on YouTube was raving about this. This right here I use to set my concealer. It doesn't give you the flashback. It blends in perfectly. Um, it doesn't crease up or cake up. I'm going to purchase the other one so I can use it as a, um, a setting power for my foundation. This one right here is in medium. It's a deluxe finishing part, part, um, powder. It takes away the shine. It has a natural matte finish. This right here, going on to my number two favorite as far as um, powders are concerned and setters. Now, I have always been a fan of this company um, in college in my early 20s. I purchased her foundation. I'm speaking of Iman. If you can see it, she has the perfect colors for women of color. If you can't find your color, I don't know what to tell you because it goes on perfectly. This is the oil blotting pressed powder in medium deep. I use this to set my whole face once I'm finished. This is great because it has red undertones, just like my skin tone. So it has red tones and it matches perfectly. Okay, last, uh, and I use this one for my contour. It's the Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me 360 Press Powder in Mocha. For me, it's the can see it on my hand there it go it gives me so using this it doesn't give it that ashy dark tone look this works perfectly okay let's move on to concealers and there's only one concealer that I have and you guys should already know what it is everybody if you follow YouTube everybody has tried this um, it's in everybody's tutorial and that would be LA Girls Pro Concealer. As you can see, I have a wide variety of these. I use it underneath my eyebrow to highlight my arch of my eyebrow. For that color, I use Toast, which is this is Toast. I use this underneath my eye eyebrow um, as a color corrector I use espresso to um, get rid of those dark areas so underneath my eye and around my mouth and a scar that I have right here I use th uh, this for that and of course I use it for my highlight for my highlight I use the color which is this one I have medium beige and I have warm honey Sometimes I will blend these two together to um, use as um, my highlight. LA, LA Girl, you did your damn thing with these concealers. If you haven't tried them, go get your life. Run to the store, run to your uh, beauty supply store, and go ahead and pick these up. You will not regret it at all whatsoever. They are so multifunctional. Um, they are 
the range of color is phenomenal as you can see I have what six here I have some more that I didn't show but these are the six that I normally use okay moving on we're gonna talk about blushes and I have two and it's kind of hard to pick which one is my favorite if I have to pick a number one it will have to be this color right here this is by black radiance and it's warm berry. It's their artesian color baked brush. Blush. Hands down. It's, it's dark enough for my skin tone. But it's still warm enough. It has enough color. If you can see that. I'm going to swipe it on my hand. So you guys can see the dopeness of this. Can you see that? Right there. And another one that does this is by Wet n Wild. And this is also Berry Shimmer. You guys can... There it goes right there. The Black Radiant. But you can see it, get, it has like those gold reflex in there. This is one of my favorites as well. Okay, now when it comes to setting my makeup, I love this stuff. Very inexpensive. It's the Elves Makeup Mist and Set Spray. About three sprays of this. My makeup doesn't move. It gives it that matte finish. Um, okay. Oh, speaking of oil absorbing. Speaking of that, let me tell you guys. I was in Goodwill. And I came across these babies right here. This is clean and clear oil absorbent towelettes or sheets. It's portable. I keep this in my makeup bag at all times. It has these little sheets right here. I pull these one, one or two of these bad boys out and just lay it flat. Press down on it and it immediately absorbs the makeup without removing your makeup. That's the key right there. It does not remove your makeup at all. It won't smudge, um, instantly removes excess oil, instantly, like you don't have to do too much. Like, let's go into applicators and brushes. Me being new to makeup, I found that getting the right brush can change your life, can, can get your face snatched, honey. Having the right brush can just make your makeup application so much easier and so much better. Now my favorite brush and I just recently purchased this brush right here is this e.l.f. angle uh, blush brush. You guys love love. I'm going to get another one because go out and get this. Like I said it does so many things. Okay number two I found this in a reconsignment store and I also posted on Instagram. It's this MAC 187 brush. These brushes were on sale for $3. They had never been used. I didn't think that they were real until I went online and I checked out. The handle was the same. The bristles are the same. It, it doesn't shed. And this is, like I said, um, this is MAC 187 brush. I use it to uh, remove the excess, to brush off the excess powder when I set my highlights. Um, the next one is also by MAC. It's a 275 angle eyeshadow brush. I use this to apply my crease colors with and to do the outer V. Um, of my eyelid. Okay, the next one will be another e.l.f. It's an angled eyeliner brush. I use this in combination with the cream gel. It gives me that angle that I need to create that wing without going overboard or messing up. Like I can really control the product with this brush. My last favorite brush will be this Els Professional Concealer Brush. If you can see that. 
It's really, really small. I use this to apply the concealer underneath my eyebrow. It gets it done without blending into the hairs of my eyebrow. I can really control it. Um, it blends perfectly with this. Okay, last but not least, another one of the favorite things that I love is lipsticks. Like, I'm absolutely addicted to lipsticks. Like, anytime I go to the store, I'm picking up a lipstick and I have to tell myself, like, you're not going to buy any lipstick. You're not going to buy no lipstick today. I have tons and tons of lipsticks and it was hard to narrow out the ones that I consider to be my favorite. Like my all time favorite number one lipstick you guys will be this bad boy right here. This is Wet n Wild. Yes Wet n Wild. Be with me right. 503C will you be with me. Hands down my favorite neutral tone pink color. You can see it right there. Okay, my number two, and this is from LA Girl. This is the color, do I still have it on here? This is so bomb. It goes on smooth. It's a matte finish. You can see that it's the perfect berry cranberry color without being too dark without being light it just goes perfect with my skin tone and once again this is LA girls um, flat velvet matte lipstick that's the color right there now number three is by Ruby Kiss dark plum scene it's such a dark vampy color you see that you guys? That's that one right there. It's dark, it's creamy, it goes on smooth, it's a matte finish as well. Um, don't need a liner with this at all. And that's why I, this is one of my favorites because if I'm in a rush, I can just throw this on without adding a liner to it as well as the LA Girl. I don't really need a liner with it, but with a liner, Yes, honey, yes. I'm trying to tell y'all. Now, speaking of liners, as um, a more darker skin tone woman, you know, those liners become your best friend because it tones down colors, it enhances it. You can do ombre effect with liners. You can do so much with lip liner. And my all-time favorite lip liner would be NYX or NYX lip liner in the color dark brown and it's that one down here and you can see that so it tones down the color it blends well and my last lip liner is by NK it's an auto lip liner and this color is indigo it's a retractable lip pencil which I love look how much product they're giving to you. It's smooth, it's creamy. This can be used as a lipstick um, without anything else because it's so creamy. That's it right there. Can you see that? I have this on today with a brown color. I got this at my beauty supply store. I don't know where they sell it at. I don't know if y'all guys can find it online. Research and do what you got to do to get a hold to this thing. Check your local beauty supply store. I don't know. But go get it. It was only a dollar. It's retractable. It's creamy. It blends in with so many colors. I have used this on like four, three or four different lipsticks, you guys. And it like changes everything. I have used it by itself. Like I said, this uh, eggplant color I said it was. No, indigo. Indigo. So you guys, that's the end of my 2015 beauty favorites. Um, let me know if any of the things that I showcased, um, have you tried it before? Are you going to go out and look for it? Please comment below and let me know. Um, 
as always, you guys, I love you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Share. If you know anybody who may this may be helpful to, go ahead and share it. Like and comment below. And as you know, I will see you guys in the next one.